just want to do um, a quick update. Lauren is uh, 11 months old now. Uh, he'll be a year old coming up soon. Hi, Belly. <laughs> Whoa, you just rushed right in. He'll be 11 months old soon. I'm gonna have a little birthday party for him. Um, his birthday is in April. I need to look at the date though, because I can't remember the exact date. And he's chasing the sheep. He's very interested in the sheep, but as soon as they stop running, he kind of loses interest. I just wanted to show you too that um, a few people uh, donated uh, part of this and it helped me a lot quicker be able to put up this. I can't see it because Lauren is blocking it. It is a hot wire. See it right there? It's just a thin line that is electric and it's really wet now so it's really hot. Um, but it's at the very bottom of this chain link fence so they know to stay away from it. See he's looking at it and he knows not to touch it. Um, so now he won't be able to dig out from under it to cause a lot of problems. Wolves and wolf dogs are really uh, prone to escaping. So thank you very much for those that uh, donated the wire and some of the little clips and the grounding rods that, uh, that keep it buried. And in the future, I wanna do one right at the top up here. Um, he doesn't jump or try to climb, but that doesn't mean he won't. So it's better to do it as a preventative. Hi, Lauren. Then um, wait until something happens. You're gonna have a birthday soon? We can have a birthday party, Lauren. What do you think of my sparkly shoes, Lauren? But one of the vlogs I want to do in the near future is just a general how I take care of Lauren because I've got a lot of questions about that and a lot of people asking me if uh, wolves or wolf dogs uh, make good pets. And the short answer to that is no, um, but not for the general household. But of course there are those that can meet their needs. It just requires um, a complete lifestyle change from the owner's part. And a lot of people just aren't willing to make that commitment. If you're one of the people that are, um, then sure it might be possible, but um, yeah, it take, I mean, you have to change your entire life. You have to have a lot of space and it takes up a, a lot of your day, but I'll go in more to detail about exactly um, what their behavior is like, how they're different from a domesticated dog, and uh, just the different um, things that you have to do. like. For example, I mean, there are some breeds that would need a, a fence to be electric, but they require a lot more uh, forethought than a, a domesticated animal. And Belody and Lauren are just best buddies. They were puppies together, and I think because Belody is more or less a, a feral dog, um, if you haven't watched some of my previous videos, uh, she's a stray dog that was rescued off the streets of uh, Cairo, Egypt. And um, I don't know, they just kind of seem to speak the same language and they're just really, really good buddies. Um, they're kind of glued to the side. I actually separate them sometimes on occasion because I don't want them to be bonded just with each other and, and, and create a situation where they have separation anxiety. Your tree's like, let me in. When do I get to play? Uh, other projects that I want to do in the future is I'd like to get um, a raised platform. Uh, wolves love to lie up high. Um, either by building one or maybe, hi, I got kisses. I got kisses. Either um, by building one or um, getting one of those large uh, cable spools out here for them to lay on. I actually found one on Craigslist and uh, the guy was gonna meet me with it, but he told me they weigh like 700 pounds. So I don't really have the means to move something that weighs 700 pounds, so it's gonna take a little bit more thought than I originally had planned. Go get him, sugar. But all the other animals are, are doing well. Um, I didn't update for like, I think it was three or four weeks, but um, I just got really busy. It wasn't really for any reason but I love making these videos for you guys so I'm gonna try to do it 
a little more uh, consistently. And I want to do like a, a set schedule um, so it's easier uh, for you to know when I'm going to upload instead of it just being like totally random. Um, once I figure out what that is, I'll make an announcement about that. What is on your head? Gross stuff. Sugar trees are gross stuff on your head. Mm-hmm. I also want to do another giveaway soon, so I'll post about that. Kind of working out some things now, and hopefully we can have some fun stuff. This is what Bellity does. She just kind of sits there, looks like a little little statue. She looks so old and wise, but she's really just a puppy. Oh, they're tired. I see Lauren chewed up another collar. Yeah, I know who it was. You don't have to tell on him. You got nose prints. Lauren's like, that wire. I really want to eat those sheep. But I can't because I will get shocked. Lauren is uh, over by one of his many holes. I will take you to show you his artwork. Here's one of them. That one's not that deep, but he has quite a collection going on here in the yard. And he actually, um, oh, he's giving us a demonstration. There you go. He actually digs his bones um, under there, which isn't that remarkable, but what he'll do is he'll put rocks on top of them too. But uh, thank you again for the equipment um, to make the bottom of the fence hot. I really appreciate it. Um, he never dug or got out, but it's just not worth the risk and that's just part of um, what you want to do when you own such an intelligent and uh, strong-willed animal. Whoa, Bellity incoming. Hey, baby. Hey baby, hey baby. Ooh. In other news, um, Lauren is going to be soon participating in Canine Walk for Cops, um, which basically you pay an entry fee, and that money goes uh, back into the police department um, and into the canines. And uh, what you do is you go there in the morning. Hi, hi, hi. Walking away. You go there in the morning and you walk with your dog. I think it's about a mile. And um, it's really cool. You walk with all these different dogs and there's so many there. The event's gotten really big. And then afterwards when you get back, um, they have cool demonstrations um, with the police canines and um, different fun contests. Like they have one for tallest dog, smallest dog, different dog tricks. And it's just a fun day out with your dog. There's food there and vendors there. And it's really neat. Um, but it's a great chance for Lauren to socialize and get out and meet a lot of different people and uh, be able to speak with them about wolves and uh, do some education. Oh, there's a lot of um, misinformation about wolves, that they're dangerous, aggressive, a nuisance. Um, there's so many wolf calls and they're being uh, just killed senselessly because basically people are afraid of them and uh, bringing Lauren into public and um, when people meet him they're just it just really helps to make that connection with a real animal um, to change their minds that um, they should be respected uh, just for the beautiful animals they are so we're excited about that or at least I am Lauren doesn't really know about it but <laughs> Uh, I've gone in the past with um, Sugar Tree. I might bring Sugar Tree and Bellity, but I think I'm probably going to leave them just to focus on Lorne and uh, his training. And um, it's a lot easier sometimes to work with an animal one on one. I'm going to eat Bellity's head. But well, leave a comment below. And let me know if you have any ideas for videos or any questions you might have. And I'll look through them and uh, try to do some of them. It's always nice uh, to get a fresh perspective and 
uh, know what you want to learn about or what you'd like to see. Say bye, Lauren. Say bye. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh.